Hello everyone, today we have a review of the updated version of Oxygen OS 14 based on Android 14 for OnePlus 10 Pro and the version, uh, the latest version is 1400 which was released in beginning of May actually this version is for Indian market and E2211 uh, but for other markets, uh, global version and US version is also available so let's check it out, what are the main changes here and firstly, let's check the logs, uh, what they updated. Actually, the first one, what they cover is system updates only and go one by one as a horizontal layout for the lock screen clock. So basically here we go, uh, let's go to lock screen and uh, I will show you what's changed. I don't know why they call it this way. Uh, I think it's in a home, lock screen, clocks, lock screen shortcuts you have and clock style. So now you get classic and minimalistic one. So actually before you, d you didn't have this option. Let's check the classic first. That's how the classic looks like. And I'm using the new style, which is minimalistic style. Let's check this out. That's how it looks like. So basically that's the first change here what I would like to show to you and let's move back to the change list here. Uh, always loading again, I don't know why it's not saving this information. You can now adjust the volume in quick settings. So basically from previous version appeared this uh, really convenient volume changer for different apps when you listen to app it appears here and you can use it also you can go to the settings itself here uh, for also quick changes here so what you can do is to change the volume very simply and update the style of course uh, but uh, to quick setting style we will move uh, later on you can now choose not to show the track when drawing the lock screen pattern on, on locks to unlock your uh, device. Actually, I don't really use it, uh, but uh, actually just when you draw it, it will, not show, it, it will not show the track itself. So actually this maybe feature will be useful in case you would like some privacy, you know, when you draw it, no one will see uh, what I'm drawing. But okay, actually let's edit, I use the code itself or just unlock with fingerprint. Improve system stability, okay, they just regular in all the updates, they improve the system stability, so not much changes from that side. You can now adjust the size of the floating window by dragging its uh, bottom and swipe up to close a mini window. Okay, basically I think it's more for, for instance, for YouTube. I, and it was available actually before and swipe up to close. Okay, let's try it out. Let's open YouTube, no copyrights music. Let's open something. Okay, we'll disable the sound. Yes, we have the window. Okay, you can adjust like this before. Swipe up. I don't know what actually changed here. It's still adjustable and you can close it. Okay, maybe in this direction nothing changed. Okay, let's try to uh, to make a floating window here, split screen lock. Okay, actually it's not even available for this app. Let's try another app, like files. Okay, floating window we have here. Okay, I think this button was added so you can move it quite easily here. I think that's the advantage so you can move it left and right you see you can hide it even before it was not available okay this is quite minor update but maybe some of you will need it so actually oneplus always try to improve user experience so i guess they edit because of this point uh, okay integrate the april 2024 android security pass to enhance the system security <clears throat> so this is quite regular, they just uh, always with each update try to keep Android security on the highest level, so also updated. And the main one, I don't know why it's not mentioned here, is a bit redesigned quick settings here, or control center, you can call it whatever you want. As you see here, the brightness moved before it was uh, uh, horizontal, now it's vertical here. Actually, it's convenient. Also, you don't have separately automatic brightness. It's built in here at the bottom. 
same with the volume you can just click here no need uh, any other buttons here so actually they uh, disappeared from there also you change the location of wi-fi and uh, like two main settings that you selected i have wi-fi mobile data before they were located in other direction here we have some smart control and now in case we listen to music for instance let's move back to the music itself okay actually we can test it out the volume here you see it appeared from a left side not from the right side and uh, moving on uh, your wi-fi or your two main settings down keeping the volume and brightness from the right side okay actually it's quite convenient change and uh, i think we will get used to it very fastly as it's quite convenient uh, to use it this way and basically let's check it out maybe something else changed from actually the list of updates uh, that's all uh, let's go one by one check the settings maybe we have something useful here all of this were available before mobile data i will not cover bluetooth settings still same connection share actually it was added all in previous version the settings like link to windows was released maybe several months ago uh, wallpapers and styles so here not pretty much changes always on actually they added also in previous updates some additional uh, view of this but in general everything is same as before you have bitmoji you have omoji also available and uh, some another display options here contextual information also added before like music playback you can show on the lock screen actually you will see it how it looks like like this and also some smart suggestion for some app supported also were added before uh, okay for here i will not cover that um, actually just some colors some more as you see now uh, more representative when you change the colors you see directly how it will be affected here so it's also quite nice to have it before you can just select the most uh, interesting color to you edge lighting i don't use um, home screen and lock screen I already showed to you what uh, appeared here is a clock style all the others I guess no changes from the sides mm, display brightness as I see also nothing special everything according as it was before and notification status bar let's check it out status bar actually battery style same now you have just more convenient settings as you see they divided it uh, separately and separately status bar icons so now it's just more representative and you can select what you like here but in general it's same and smart suggestion added as well apps um, i will not cover i don't think something changed here uh, security and privacy let's keep it this way we'll not also deep dive in this location services uh, you see who is using your battery actually it's good when you see high battery usage just uh, the best option is to don't allow the location then you'll save a battery a bit or allow only while using the app so for mcdonald's app for instance i disabled for uh, for the weather app I have location only while using the app okay it's more than an app uh, special features smart suggestions split view floating window I don't think there are some changes here but let's open it up smart suggestion let's disable it anyway it's not working on my market quick return was before quick launch I don't use it smart sidebar kids mo kids mode simple mode and then space no changes from this side jet digital will be in additional settings so here let's just briefly cover gesture and motions were transfers here I guess it's rise to wake motion lift to ear uh, auto switch to receiver flip to mute and come and call they just always re reorganize the settings to make it more convenient to you a uh, power button 
find screenshot okay actually system services okay some AI services all right basically as I covered not much changes here uh, as I mentioned before here is the main changes is the settings quick settings or control center you can call it uh, all the others uh, mainly just some improvement um, for instance some lock screen improvement uh, volume improvement etc so basically for the battery life also a bit improved by still from uh, oxygen s14 the battery a bit struggled comparing with oxygen s13 but each update makes some improvement not significant but some additional time you will have uh, for this one in case you you have previous version i definitely recommend to update it will be a good update for you you will feel some new features security update of course and actually it will work smoothly for you all right in case you still have some questions just put in the comments below put the thumbs up and see you next time